insight. Thank you. In a rare show of support this week, the New England Patriots football team observed a minute of silence for Ezra Schwartz, a resident of Sharon, Massachusetts, who was killed last week in a terror attack in Gush Etzion while on a study program in Israel. Some 80,000 fans in the stadium stood in silence in memory of Schwartz, who himself was an avid fan of the Patriots. The tribute was announced right before the team's game against the Buffalo Bills overnight Monday and televised to an estimated 15 million spectators worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, in a month in which the NFL salutes the service of our brave men and women in our armed forces, we also pause to remember the many who have recently lost their lives in senseless terrorist attacks abroad. Last Thursday, this reality struck close to home when 18-year-old Ezra Schwartz, a native of Sharon, Massachusetts, and a huge Patriots fan, was gunned down nearly 5,500 miles from home while studying abroad. At this time, we would like to honor Ezra Schwartz and the hundreds of victims like him with a moment of silence. We're joined in the studio now by former Yeshatid Memke and Rabbi Dov Lipman. Thanks for joining us. Dov, how did this come about? I understand it was your idea. So I cannot take credit for the idea. There were numerous people who turned to Robert Kraft, who's the owner of the Patriots, and told him the story about Ezra, how passionate a Patriots fan he was. And in those communications, uh, it became clear that Mr. Kraft decided uh, to go move forward with a moment of silence, something which is unique to have one uh, fan of a team highlighted in that kind of a way. And it brought tremendous comfort to the family, to Ezra's friends. And I have to say, to a certain degree, it really uplifted uh, Israel as we were grouped together with the worldwide problem of terror. And yet Israel was not mentioned and neither was a terrorist uh, named so what do you think about that? So I think that they made a decision that they weren't going to, I wasn't privy to the mm-hmm. inner workings of that for a variety of reasons, not to specifically highlight Israel. Let's remember also it happened in Gush Etzion, which according to the official United States policy is not uh, recognized as a part of the state of Israel. There's a lot of reasons why they could have done it, but through news sites all over the United States, Sports Illustrated, the Today Show, CBS Sports, uh, AP, all over, they were talking about Ezra Schwartz being killed in Israel. And therefore, even if at that moment it didn't happen, the story became magnified, became much larger, and everyone became aware of this suffering. Well, Dov Lippmann, please stay with us as we move to the...